Another major pattern which benefits from cloud computing is elastic workloads. Uh, these workloads, typically, as you can see on the right hand side of the image here, allow us to change the workload resources based on the workload requirements in itself. A static scaling option, which typically we would find on premises, we have fixed kind of resources available to us, and so we sort of over allocate the resources and we just try and account for that peak to make sure we have enough resources for it. As your workload changes though in elastic workloads, resources can be changed to compensate and that's up or down. So you can see that solid black line on the right hand side, this comes from the Cloud Computing Patterns website. You can see that black line goes up and down in response to the workload. It's still above the lighter gray line because we still wanna make sure that the workload has enough resources for those peaks and we don't have any performance issues, but you can see we're able to tailor it based on you know demand. And good examples of this are seasonal demand. For example, a retail website, you know, on Black Friday, often retail websites get hit very, very hard. So we could ramp up the resources to compensate for that and then push them back down after that event happens. Could be other things as well. Another one is some of the companies I deal with deal with like outage maps for weather services. So perhaps when the power in your area goes down, the first thing you want to do in the event of a big storm that's caused that is you go onto the outage map on the website and you're looking to see you know, when is the crew going to come back to my area to fix that, uh, fix my power basically and get me back online? Well, everybody else is doing it at the same time. And so those web servers get hit very, very hard during that. And so this is a good example of an elastic workload that could be scaled up and down. These workloads, again, just really, really benefit from cloud computing because we're only paying for what we use. We don't have to add all those resources for the peak to make sure we always have enough. We just add as and when we need to.